Hi and welcome to Kani Craze. It's incredible how time flies as this is already the fifth video of my step-by-step -step guide to actively prep my pack for the arrival of my baby. Today we will talk about fulfilling your dog's daily needs. So what are your dog's daily needs? We have the basic requirements and then we will also talk about what you can do on top of that to train excess energy if you have an overly energetic pup. I'm Fabia Feuerabend, an internationally certified dog trainer, behaviorist, nutritionist and canine fitness coach. As a busy mom of an ever-growing pack, I'm constantly trying to balance what I love, training dogs, my career, passion and interests, with who I love, my dogs, friends and family. Here are some of my tips and tricks for keeping the relationship to my dogs healthy, fit and fun while trying to balance it all. Now in the middle of the second trimester and all I can say is that I just love it. Last week we went on our baby moon and took the dogs to a lonely beach where they could just run, swim and play with coconuts. We all had a really good time. Today I would like to talk to you about meeting your dog's daily needs and why it is important. Most of the dogs that I meet professionally are under exercise, both physically and mentally. This lack of stimulation and boredom usually causes trouble as the dog is looking for fun things to do by himself and normally that's nothing you appreciate very much. So what are your dog's daily needs? Well as most things it depends basically on two factors your dog's age whether you have a very old guy or a young pup and your dog's breed can either be a high powerful working dog or a more laid-back one. In general the younger the dog and the more powerful and energetic the breed, the more activities you have to provide. So let's look at the dog's daily needs first. Well, besides the obvious like food and shelter, dogs do need one long daily walk. It should last 45 minutes to an hour and give your dog enough time to sniff and explore. At home, you should have set rules and routines to help your dog feel comfortable and secure. At the moment, a long walk is probably still doable, but as your tummy grows, this might become too much and with a newborn and your entire life turned upside down, it will probably not be doable for a couple of weeks. So try to plan ahead now who could help you so your dog doesn't have to miss out. But for most dogs, one long walk isn't really enough. Dogs with a lot of physical energy to burn need to have an outlet for that on a daily basis. So here are four activities that you can easily do to help your dog get rid of this excess energy. Arrange play dates or schedule dog park visits. Play dates are a great outlet for excess energy and also have a strong social aspect. Teach your dog to run on a treadmill or run next to a bike. Treadmills are fantastic as you're not dependent on the weather outside or time of the day. Play fetch. Many dogs love playing fetch, but be careful doing it on a daily basis as it can easily create so-called ball junkies. Take your dog swimming. Swimming, if your dog likes it, is fantastic as it drains a lot of physical energy while being gentle on the joints. While burning off physical energy seems obvious, I think that mental stimulation is even more important. And most dogs are very happy when they get to work twice a week. So try to set away two days a week where you plan to have your dog working. So here are my three favorite activities. Scent work. Scent work is fantastic as your dog really has to focus in order to find the scent. And also you are not dependent on the weather outside as this can be done inside. Trick training. Trick training is a fun way to train your dog. There are tricks for each type of dog and for each skill level. You can even teach your dog to assist you in daily household chores. Enroll in a dog sports club. This is especially good if you have a working type dog. Find a good dog sports club in your area where somebody can assist you in training and working your dog. Example of some dog sports are agility, obedience or IPO. 
So as I said before, there is not one fits all formula. Try to find what works for you and your dog and what you and your dog like. And if you and your dogs are also on the journey towards two-legged parenthood, please leave us a comment below and let us know how you're doing. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time.